Today, I am very excited. It is my boyfriend's birthday this weekend. It's been over a year since we've been together, so I haven't been able to get any gifts. This year, I went a little crazy, okay? I went a little crazy. I've become obsessed with vintage watches and vintage lighters. The lighters that I think are really cool are Cartier lighters, Dunhill lighters, as well as DuPont lighters. And these are all like, I don't know anything about engineering, but apparently they're engineering marvels. They're made with all metal inside. There's no plastic bits, or at least there's not that much. Or originally there wasn't. Maybe they've replaced it with a part. So they're like hefty looking. I've never held one in my hand. I do have one in the box that I have received. Alfred Dunhill was born in 1872, that old. And essentially he inherited his father's business, which was they made car accessories, but he decided to step into a different market, the luxury goods market. I'm saying all this off of stuff I read. I don't, this could be false, but essentially he was like a great engineering mind. He eventually was one of the first people to make a butane lighter. He made it out of like pure metal. It was so complicated and intricate to make that Dunhill is actually still around. It's still really good. They have cool gloves and stuff. They don't produce the lighters to their original quality because it's so expensive and complicated to do so. So now they use things such as plastic inside of them. Even still, like if you buy them new, they're, let me look it up. They're still gorgeous, but apparently they're just not built like they used to be built. The dial that changes how much, how big your light is, is now on the bottom, whereas on the old version, it's on the side. New, they're like $1,200. That's crazy. And the older ones are cheaper than that. The older ones range from like two to $300 for like a decent quality one. So the one that I ended up going with was a 1960s or earlier version and I just thought it was so cool because it was really old. It's one of the older ones. I just thought it was so cool. I'm like from the 1960s. The difference between it is that it has like a smooth lid. You'll see. I'm about to open it up. You can date your roller glass. So I have one that's made. I have this one. It's like these two. It has these two arrows at the bottom lid and it has a smooth top. Whereas before or after they started, you see how the fluting continues in the lid? Mine, it doesn't. And then they also eventually in 1971, they switched to this Target style bottom. <gasps> Feels heavy. You can't ship it with butane in there, so it has no lighter fluid. So in here, he sent some flints, which apparently these are hard to find now. So actually it's really awesome that he sent all these flints. And then he emailed me like uh, something that tells me how to do it. But let's just check out the lighter first, first of all. I really hope he likes it. Um, I'm kind of nervous. Now let's figure out how to light it up. To put the flint in there, I have to push this back and then this pops out and then I put the flame behind there, or the flint. Oh, okay. Okay, that was actually so easy. So now this hole is where I put the flint. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> Look, this is like a little flint thing that you can keep flints in and look, then I can push this to the side and then unroll it and the flint will come out. That's so sick. <gasps> look, and there's my flint. Oh, <gasps> perfect. Okay. And now we have to fill it with butane. So at the bottom here, 
is where you press. And he sent me the butane connector that converts it. So I pop that in there and now I press my butane in the top. I just put butane in it. Right after you put butane in it, it gets really cold to the touch. So I'm supposed to give it a couple of minutes to let it warm up so all of the gears aren't contracted. We're gonna put the bottom on. You can see as those arrows because it's a 1960. Okay, here's the moment of truth. And then I can control on the side, the flame. The noise it makes when it lights. 